got an early day today. I'm just like out here walking in the middle of Copenhagen. Uh, I'm going to the zoo because why not? Um, yeah, unfortunately, people who are my roommates are a bit mid. Like they're okay. They're okay. They're not quite interesting and or interested in socializing. So we have to make our own path. Um, but yeah, who found a way to connect with other people in the hostel? This is a bike route. Dangerous. But yeah, there's so many bikes here. I was like part of the zoo over there too. Exciting. All right, let's see what they have. Well, I've decided against going to the zoo. I, I think the Sandermarken is a bit more interesting. This is a palace garden. I can see here the trees here are very old. They're very old. And all you guys are probably like, wow man, you came all the way to Europe just to look at trees? And I'll be like, yeah man, what's wrong with that? I don't know, it's early morning, I'm chilling. There's a few palaces I want to check out uh, later in the day. But you know, while it's nice out and the birds are active, I don't think there's any better place to be than a palace garden, boys. Kings used to walk here. Damn straight. They really said, I'm gonna build a temple out of the trees. Look at that. Sheesh. Look at the size of this tree. This branch? is probably as long as this tree is tall. And this tree is immensely tall. I don't think I've seen a tree this big in Canada, even. Like, it looks really small right now, but this is the trunk, and this is my hand on it. I don't know, it's hard to uh, show the size. I think it's better seen in real life though. European alcohol prices. Take the number and divide by five. It's pretty cheap here, boys. All right, we're taking the subway and we're on our way to one of Copenhagen's most interesting districts called Christiana. Um, apparently it's a free town, so it's like a proper democracy of all the citizens there. So there we go, that's our station that we're at right now. Uh, and uh, we gotta go, well, hold on, let me take a look at the map. I think we gotta go to uh, Christian's Haven or something like that. So yeah, we gotta go here. Oh, that's actually the next station. That's great, let's go. So we're almost at Christiana. I think this is a little canal, and then if you cross it, Christiana is over there on the other side. So I'm probably gonna take this bridge. But also, there's literal al like there's literal seaweed growing here. Like, this is proper seaweed. Look at that. Beautiful.
we're returning to clay boys. This is actually a really interesting design concept though. It's um I guess it's supposed to be like a apartment of these houses. Let's go inside. I think this is like a demo example of it. I don't know if you guys can see it very nicely. But it certainly looks very interesting. And it does feel very nice in here. Like I'm gonna sit down in the corner here. Put it on 0.6, we're chilling. This is really cool. They have a few more house designs here. I'm gonna go check them all out. This one looks very interesting. I'm gonna put it on a bigger viewpoint here. Look at that. Very spacious in here. Oh, this is the Danish one. I can't read Danish. I think this would be a really cool house if you could. You could even put up like a rock climbing wall in there because of the design. Let's look at this one. I don't know what this one is. Ooh. What is this? Not so planet friendly, huh? Interesting. A bunch of modular systems. What is this? Interesting. Hey, they're growing beets here. Like, those are actual beats. So, now we're like, at this bridge, which is like, the bridge I was originally gonna go to um, from the first bridge. I really want to like climb on this shit here, but it looks illegal. Um, I feel like the water would actually be cool for like scuba diving in because it looks pretty deep and it looks pretty clear too. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go over this way now. Um, I think Christiana is over that way and like this way. So we'll see. There it is. I think that's Christiana. Let's go check it out. Ropes across the street though. Let's have a little conversation. I don't know what they're talking about. Cool. That is so cool. Very, very interesting. It's like Kensington Market, I feel. That's on the shelf. It's all in Danish. Unfortunate. It looks so cool here. It is kind of like Kensington from Toronto. There's a lot of like artists. Artsy stuff here. Pretty cool. Very cool. 
Portland is the only place where people legally smoke weed as well. Well, technically, I don't know. It's Freetown. Um, so it's a separate entity from the rest of Copenhagen, like, by law. Because weed is illegal in Denmark, unlike in Canada. I guess we're doing some uh, repurposing or construction here. Um, yeah. It's very cool here, actually. It's not, like, hype, but it's cool, you know? I swear this same plant grows in Canada. It's a thistle, isn't it? Kensington at all because there is a market for component but people straight up just live here I think like they built and made all of this themselves which is really really cool like wow there's a little lake here oh what's this Yeah, it's super cool here. This place is sick. Beautiful. Hey. What are we making here today? What? What are we making here today? I'm just putting out my story. We're making rice. Some rice, some tomatoes. Nice. And some smashed eggs. Ah, alright, let's go. Alright boys, we're gonna find out what the mech feast actually is. Let's add it to the bag, boys. Bag or die. Just, just the burger, boys. Add that to the bag, boys. So that's 47 krona. That's like approximately $9 Canadian. So this mech feast better be good. Hit that pay now, not today. Give it to me, boys. Let's hit it. So here we got the mech feast. I don't actually know what's in it. Let me let me open it. It looks kind of like a Big Mac, honestly. Oh, but the burger is very thick. Interesting. All right, let's see what it tastes like. All right, so the mech feast was actually pretty good. It's like a thick patty. I think it's like a half pounder almost. But yeah, this is, I'm just like chilling in the hostel um, bar. That's what it looks like. It's pretty chill here. Honestly, I think Copenhagen has a lot of German tourists, which is very interesting. I should ask them about my um, German rap, my Deutsche rap. See if they have any recommendations. Well, I think it's a good night. I had like a, a six pack of some local Copenhagen beer. It was 
for the six pack, nine dollars Canadian. Nine dollars Canadian for a six pack, which is like crazy. Well, not that crazy. It's still kind of expensive for the rest of Europe, but Canada, like a six pack is like what, seventeen, eighteen dollars. So it's worth. But yeah, uh, I'm probably going to sleep after this, so I'll catch you guys later. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow, but hopefully it'll be something exciting.